This is a second and third stimulus check update. Shortly after Joe Biden's inauguration, he signed several executive orders, two of them being stimulus related that you could benefit starting today. More Republicans are starting to criticize the new $1.9 trillion stimulus package, leaving Democrats with just two options moving forward. And there is potential for a third stimulus check standalone bill, which could be passed quickly. Plus, I'll answer the questions you leave for me regarding the $600 stimulus check. I hope you're having a great day so far quick announcement i just published this book the 50 day success journal to help you accomplish any goal within 50 days i'm giving out 10 free copies to my subscribers if you want a free copy there'll be a link down in the description below it's first come first serve president biden got inaugurated yesterday and he said that trump left him a very generous letter before departing the white house let me know in the comments below do you believe that it was a very generous letter based on the events leading up to the inauguration some may think otherwise uh, let me know what what you think about that down in the comments below shortly after the inauguration president biden signed more executive actions on day one than trump obama and bush combined so he got very busy as you can see here uh, there's a big stack of executive orders he got right to business Two of those executive orders are stimulus related that you could benefit starting today. I spoke about these in yesterday's video, but now it's coming directly from the source. So this is Jen Psaki, the new press secretary. Uh, here's a clip of her talking about those two executive orders. COVID-19 pandemic has triggered an almost unprecedented housing affordability crisis. He took immediate action to confront the crisis and asked relevant agencies to extend nationwide moratoriums on evictions and foreclosures. The pandemic has also increased the hardship on millions of Americans who owe federal student loans. In response, the president asked the Department of Education to extend the pause on student loan payments and interest. He rejoined the Paris Climate Agreement, putting the United States back in a position to exercise, glo exercise global leadership and advancing the objectives of the ambitious agreement. Currently, there are around 14 million Americans facing eviction. So this eviction moratorium is great, but it's just a band-aid for the problem. It's not getting to the root of the problem. So hopefully they do more with that. Uh, Georgia voters are enraged after Democrats' promise of $2,000 checks becomes $1,400 checks. And I think a lot of other people were kind of upset too. It's as if someone promised you a free $100 and then they gave you $70. You're still happy with the 70 but you had your hopes up for the 2000 so one of the uh, Georgia Democrats said Warnock and Ossoff made it a point to endorse and exclusively say $2,000 checks a lot of people in my district voted blue in the runoff for two main reasons one Leffler and Purdue denying us relief during COVID while profiting millions themselves and two $2,000 stimulus checks so yeah, a lot of people are upset about that, especially in Georgia, but Warnoff and, or Warnock and Ossoff are officially sworn in into the Senate, making the Democrats have majority in the Senate moving forward. With the $1.9 trillion stimulus package, it's getting a lot of criticism from the GOP moderates. For example, Mitt Romney. Mitt Romney said shortly after the inauguration, he said, we just passed a program with over $900 billion in it. I'm not looking for any new program in the immediate future. This is kind of what we expected. We thought that, you know, Republicans weren't going to be on board with a $1.9 trillion stimulus package. Then also uh, Lisa Murkowski from Alaska, a Republican senator, says the ink is just barely dry on the $900 billion and what the president is proposing is significant, $1.9 trillion. It's going to require, I think, a fair amount of debate and consideration. So of course, there's going to be opposition from the Republicans. Uh, they never were for a bigger stimulus in general, which leaves Democrats with two options. They either go big or go fast. So the Democrats have a tool in their tool set, which is called the reconciliation, which means they could pass this big stimulus package, but Joe Biden is saying that he wants to have a bipartisan, uh, bi bipartisan support on this next stimulus package. So it's either they go big and they have the Republicans go on board and then this negotiations could wait months maybe, weeks, months, we don't know compared to the last uh, negotiation with stimulus package, you know how that goes, or it could go fast and they could uh, just push it right through, but then that'll hurt the relationship between the Democrats and Republicans, especially after all of the divisiveness, 
divisiveness that's been happening over the past few weeks and months between Republicans uh, and Democrats, especially in the Senate. The House, they kind of get along a little better. Which then brings up the question, now that Biden is president, when can you get that $1,400 stimulus check? Well, this brings up a great point because if they pass a standalone third stimulus check, whether $1,400 or $2,000, regardless of what it is, if they could just push that through, have a victory, have American people, both Republican civilians, Democrat civilians, getting this money, feeling a lot better about the administration, the negotiations could last you know a few weeks or months and I think the people won't be as upset as they were before when the stimulus checks are attached to this bigger stimulus package that's when a lot of people got upset rather the, uh, before the house passed the $2,000 stimulus check standalone bill so some experts are saying that they should pass that now just so that the American people could get the money and then these negotiations could take a lo little longer than expected and the American people won't be so upset so when could you expect to get it? If everything goes according to plan, they're saying as early as February, but as we know, Congress is still a mess. We don't know, this is a new Congress, so things might be different. But if we looked at anything in the past, Congress is always in a gridlock between the Republicans and Democrats in the Senate. So we'll see what happens, but February could be the earliest that you could receive it. Next, I'll answer the questions you leave for me in the comments. So Wilson Leonomar Ramos says, I have a question regarding on dependent. If I will not file my mother as my dependent, will she uh, receive all the stimulus that she didn't get? Uh, so this is a good question. Basically, you're saying that Moving forward, if you don't claim your mom as a dependent, will you receive the past stimulus checks, almost retroactive? So the answer to that is no. Unfortunately, you won't receive any of the past stimulus checks. This will just affect any stimulus checks moving forward. But supposedly with the third stimulus check, adult dependents will receive it. But they also said that with the second stimulus check too. So we don't know what will happen until it happens. I just wanna give you the facts on what we know so far. Next, uh, Nykri Arenda says, you said anyone that claims an adult dependent won't get a stimulus check. Does that mean we won't get the stimulus money for my husband, myself, or two daughters, two other minor children? I'm confused now. So, uh, adult dependents, you won't get a stimulus check. So if someone, there's two different categories here. Someone who is claiming an adult dependent and someone who is claimed as adult dependent. So the person who is claimed as an adult dependent won't receive any stimulus check. The person who is claiming an adult dependent won't receive a stimulus check for claiming that adult dependent. You only get money if the person you're uh, claiming as a dependent is 16 or younger. Russell Young asks, is there any news about SSI, SSDI getting the $200 per month? So far, no. Uh, President Biden just took office. He signed a bunch of executive orders, made some announcements, but nothing with the $200 per month. Uh, Digital Life Concepts asks, is there any program for homeowners taxes in the stimulus bill? Uh, no, there is not, uh, not for homeowners taxes. There may be, uh, the, the only thing is the uh, rental uh, eviction moratorium, and there's a big rental relief $25 billion program that's available now that you could find out in your local area. Next, uh, Chastity Pope asks, I got $600 from my daughter who is 17 years old, so that's not true. Do I have to pay it back? Do you think that was an error on the IRS part? I'm asking because you said anyone 17 or over does not get one. So this is another great point. If you have a 17 year old that's 17 years now, it all depends when you filed your last tax filing. So when you filed your taxes in 2020 for your 2019 ta uh, ta for your 2019 year taxes, your daughter was younger than 17. So that's the reason why she's receiving the stimulus check. Uh, even though she's 17 now, when you filed the taxes, she was 16 or younger. And that those are the numbers that they're going off of. Uh, hopefully that makes sense. That is uh, all the stimulus news I have for you today. To cheer you up a bit, here is my daughter Bella's tip of the day. Hi guys. Hi guys, this is Bella. This is the tip of the day. I want to tell you one. I want to tell you something. If if you can't find a way to do something, then. 
then do something that you really want to do that you haven't done. Hi guys. If you can't make the Whoa. first one happen. Yeah. Uh. So that's all I wanted to say. Say bye. Bye. If you want to keep the positive vibes going, I recommend clicking this video over here. It's on my Wise Vibes channel. It's seven ways of how to reprogram your mind to stop limiting beliefs. Limiting beliefs are what hold us back from anything that we want to do in life. It's just a little voice in the back of our head that's saying, you can't do this, don't do that, you're not good enough. So if you eliminate those el limiting beliefs, you then can move forward and reprogram your mind to achieve whatever you want to achieve. So click that video right now and I'll see you in the next video. Take care, be safe. Thank you for watching.